Right, I just finished reading uh, Courage and Consequence by Karl Rove. Pretty much this is his platform for uh, denying a lot of things that has been associated with him. It was written in 2010. He spends a lot of time talking politics. That's his job, political strategist. So he loves talking about details surrounding issues that he was kind of a part of in, a lot, in some ways, and in other ways he just wasn't part of it all. And uh, he likes describing things he wasn't a part of, and then saying that he wasn't, he, he didn't have anything to do with it. Um, like with smear campaigns, he did a lot of them, okay? He was a part of push-pulling, which was like peop like uh, somebody would call people, like hundreds of thousands of people, and ask them questions. But you don't ask them friendly questions, you ask them terrible questions that describe the opponents in, in horrible ways. And that kind of puts an impression on uh, the people getting called of a negative view of the particular candidate. Like, is John McCain a baby killer? You know, it's, you ask really inflammatory questions. Um, and he was kind of a part of that, but he wasn't a part of uh, the uh, racism part of it. All right, they're independent groups, apparently. He really spent a lot of time defending George Bush. He really wanted to make George Bush out to look better than he has. Okay, he went out of his way. He spent many, many pages talking about how great George Bush is as a decider. And, I, you know, I, I think there's good elements to George Bush. I mean, there's some stories that uh, really reflect positively on him. It's just, yeah, he, he admits there are some, some mistakes, though, um, with with uh, I information that they, they worked with and, and stuff. Going to war, the Katrina disaster, the 9-11... Uh, response. There's just some issues there that uh, could have been uh, worked out a little bit better. Um, I found it interesting. YouTube ends Rovian politics. That's what Eric Schmidt said would happen with Rovian politics. Because what Rove does in, in politics is he looks for the opponent's weaknesses. You know what the opponent thinks of as their strength actually become is is actually their weakness rove looks for that and he'll uh, exploit it um in negative ads a against them so Ro rove has uh been um a part of those negative ads in a lot of ways but of course once again he spends a lot of time talk uh denying a, l a lot of other negative ads for opponents that he said he was not a part of it's just uh, what uh, you know. It's, there's more. There's there's a lot of Carl, Carl Roves out there uh, that practice Rovi, their own Rovian politics. But I find interesting too is this this book is extremely biased. Okay, there's no doubt about it. I mean, it's very informative. I appreciate him spending time um, talking about his life a little bit, <laughs> a lot more about politics. So. Um, but it's very biased, like with the Bush-Gore campaign in 2000, he talks about how there were um, electoral fraud only from the Gore campaign in Michigan, in Wisconsin, in New Mexico, their election ballot feeding, um, what are they, stuffing the ballot boxes and stuff. Only Gore was doing that. It, Bush apparently didn't do anything. There was no mention on Bush's side of having any issue with ballot stuffing, okay? So that's that's very concerning. It's very biased, all right? And it's it's just convenient for this guy to leave uh, any, any kind of um, unfavorable information about um, himself or, or Bush that hasn't made national news. All right, I don't know how much national news the ballot stuffing issue came, but uh, yeah, when, when uh, between Bush and Gore, when it came down to Florida, there was once again issues with vote counting and 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 problems with that. That it 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 sounds like Gore was just making a, a mess of the whole deal, trying to skirt the law and stuff. Whereas Bush, you know, he he was doing everything by the rules and the and the and the book. All right, Rove goes out of his way to really paint different pictures with that. Um, yeah, he talks about uh, Cheney and Hillary Clinton, and, and he spends a lot of time on 
Obama too up until what two two thousand ten, and then he predicts what's going to happen then. 